welcome you guys welcome everyone welcome back welcome back if you're a newcomer welcome go ahead and click the bell to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss out on any future videos all right so guys we're going to talk about september all right so this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate with every single taurus however if it does resonate guys go ahead and leave a thumbs up okay if you guys would like to uh take a look at the money magnet oil this is going to help you attract abundance this is going to help you attract prosperity this is going to help you attract new business ideas new career opportunities uh, things that is going to help you take to the next level this is also this is actually an intention oil you can use this with candles um to manifest your desires guys this this uh oil is a must have okay you can click the link in the description box guys it's going to take you to my etsy shop which will take you to the website for you to order the money magnet oil okay um if you need to purchase your own personal reading guys that information everything you need is going to be in the description box below okay all right so let's talk guys okay we got the strength card that wanted to reveal itself seven of pentacles let's go ahead the cards are jumping out so Spirit is ready to talk, okay? Page of Swords. Ten of Cups. Five of Wands. Three of Cups. Okay, what's going on here? I got the Two of Wands. The King of Wands. The Temperance. And... We got the Page of Cups. Okay. So, the Strength card being the first card to jump out, you could be dealing with a Leo. I see Leo here, Sagittarius, Aries here. Um, and I also see Water, Page of Cups, and Ten of Cups, especially Pisces energy here. The Cancer and Scorpio energy here as well. Lots of Wands and Cups here. But I'm feeling like with the strength card, I feel like you're watching somebody with the page of swords. Or someone could be a little immature with the page of swords here. Why is the why is the strength card here? Or you're wondering if someone has the confidence to say something to you. Or you're trying to find the confidence to tell somebody something. Um, here, I see that as well. Why is the strength card here? Queen of Wands. I'm definitely getting Leo's energy. Okay. I feel like with the Queen of Cups and a Hierophant and the Eight of Wands, there could be a water sign involved, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Virgo involved, but in the Eight of Wands, or you could be watching somebody from a distance. Okay. And you waiting you feel like you know i'm gonna wait to say something to this person you see somebody trying their best or you feel like you're trying you're trying your best to understand where this person is coming from why is the seven of pentacles here yeah like I feel like you want to say something, but you don't You don't want to regret. Okay, so Ace of Swords and Ten of Pentacles, there could be talks about money or somebody's family or there's some some words or something floating around the family. Um, so you possibly are waiting to see what, what others are saying or how others are responding to it. Yeah, see, so we got the world and the Ace of Pentacles, which is everybody, like, an opinion. I feel like a lot of people got an opinion about this idea. King of Cups, lots of water here. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody feels like somebody is lying or being sneaky. Um, So, you're kind of, like, waiting to see what people, how people are going to respond to it. Why is the Page of Swords here? You're watching this person, though. Okay, and we got the Ten of Swords, like... You're not saying anything, though, but you're watching them, but you're not saying anything. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Knight of Pentacles. Knight of 
something about changing your mind here. Queen of Swords wanted to come out the fool. Yeah, I feel like you just standing back in the cut watching somebody and not saying anything. You're watching some type of action that somebody is taking. Like, how do they have the confidence or where are they getting this confidence to do this? Okay. Ten of Cups. I feel like, yeah, telling somebody congratulations. The, the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups is telling somebody that you're proud of them or you're telling somebody a good that they're doing a good job. Um, I'm feeling like you haven't, you're trying to find the confidence or you're trying to build up to tell somebody this, um, cause you're watching them, but you're just not saying nothing. Why is the five of wands here in the past? The hyphen. Okay. So you could be feeling like this person, you may have like been, uh, feel like this person is very argumentative or this situation is challenging. Um, and it's something that makes you think about something like this person that you're watching is making you think about this. Like it's making you take things, take something to the next level, make you think a little deeper with the higher for here. This is you guys energy. Um, but with the five of wands, that's telling me that there's conflict around it, surrounding the issue. Um, and that there could be. A little bit of competition as well too but somebody here you love this person with the lover's card here you could be dealing with the gemini and the queen of pentacles is you guys energy but i feel like you are just kind of like watching somebody and not saying nothing why is the hard for you the justice card okay somebody here could be trying to balance out I'm getting like there's somebody trying to come up with some type of solution and balance. I'm also seeing here that there could be a marriage here as well. Maybe you don't, you don't, you're not saying anything. Four of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Like you're not saying anything. Like you're not talking about it. Yeah, like you're not, you're not showing this person that you see what they're doing. You're just kind of like in the cut. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the three of cups here? Yeah, the four of pentacles jumped out. So, yeah, like, you're holding back from saying anything. Like, you're kind of like, I'm not going to say anything right now, but let me just see how everybody else responds to it. Let me see what's going on first, and then I'm going to say something. Why is the three of cups here? The ten of wands and the two of pentacles. Okay, so someone here is gathering. The, the flow of things is gradually going, like, Two of Pentacles and the Three of Cups is saying that Two of Pentacles is also, you know, kind of like being in a state of feeling like you need to make a decision. But paired up with the Three of Cups, that makes me feel like there's a, um, somebody is gaining a, a following. I see that as well. Like there's a lot of followers um, behind this person. Okay. So this person has like a group of followers. But you're not saying anything. You're not saying anything. You just kind of like in the background. Because you're not sure. You're not sure. You're in the background because you're not sure. Of, you know what I'm saying? Like you're just uncertain. It's kind of making you worry a little bit. Kind of making you worry a little bit. You're not sure how to respond or how to take this. But this person ha is gaining following. Okay, so two of wands is your energy. Like, you're making plans. You're prepared. King of Pentacles is you guys' energy. But somebody has big plans and big goals here. And you're waiting to see if, they're, if it's going to crumble apart and fall apart. And if, if whether or not they're going to just, you know, move on from this. This could be your energy or someone else's around you energy, but I'm getting like you're watching this person. And somebody could be talking about money here with the five of pentacles and a page of pentacles. But this is saying that someone has a small amount of, of it. Some, you know, the five of pentacles is kind of like when you are in a really bad situation and you're trying to come out of it, okay? Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Why is the Queen of Cups here? 
five of swords. Somebody here is very, very, I'm getting like spiteful, envious, jealous type energies here. Hermit and the Queen of Pentacles. You could be definitely dealing with the Virgo. Um, yeah, like you feel you hold you're holding back. Like you're sitting back in the cut. Like y'all sitting back in the cut. Um, not saying nothing. You're not saying nothing. Why is the five of swords here? Judge me. Because you feel like it's a bad choice. Or somebody don't make good decisions. And you're worried. Okay. This, this situation is worrying you. You worried about this person. Because you feel like this person normally does not make good decisions. But how they're feeling. They're taking action. We got the king of wands. How they view the situation is king of wands. So they feel like they're taking action. Okay. And this is something that they're possibly passionate about. And they're, yeah, see, Knight of Swords, they're going ahead full throttle. Like, they're moving forward full throttle. Like, they're thinking that this is going to be successful, that they're going to be successful in this endeavor. Okay, but you kind of, like, sitting back, like, I don't know. Why is the Temperance card here? Temperance is Sagittarius, Sagittarius energy, but Temperance also is, like, protection. And, okay, so we got Ten of Pentacles, Okay. So, you, you're wishing the best for them. I feel like you're wishing them well, okay? Your intuition is telling you um, that it may not go as well because I got the four cups and the sun and the moon. Like, I feel like you don't know what's going on. This is something different. Um, but you're going to wait to talk to them about it. You're going to wait. Um, you don't want to make them feel no type of way. Um, so you're going to wait to ask them or talk to them. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Nine of Wands. Okay, so somebody feels very, like, you're hoping that they're being careful. Okay, you're hoping that this person being careful. This could be somebody in, a, in your family with the Ten of Pentacles and the Tempest. You want to make sure that this person is safe. So you're hoping that they're safe. Okay, so you're hoping like, yeah, because you feel like there's, uh, for some of you, with the Devil and the, and the Ace of Wands, you're like, watch out because, you know, there's creepy people. Um, people may look at you in a certain way with the Empress and the Devil. That's somebody who is like, Somebody may look at as like a bad, a person that carries bad energy, negative energy, okay? So, they're just hoping that you stay safe, okay? They want you to understand it and look at it. They, uh, You want this person to look at, at this from your point of view um, and how you're looking at it. And you're looking at, you know, you just want this person to be safe. You want this person to be safe, most definitely. Why is the page of cups here? Page of cups and the ace of wands. Okay, so you, I feel like you're going to find a way to start a conversation with this person and tell this person how you feel. But I feel like y'all are, you know, just, you know, just wanting to make sure. Yeah, somebody has a new idea, a new business idea, a new venture. Or somebody wants to uh, start a business, okay? So somebody is talking about business talk, okay? Yeah, see, we got the emperor <laughs> and the four of wands. <laughs> we got the emperor and the four of wands, okay? So the four of wands and the emperor is somebody definitely like someone's husband or father. Um, somebody feels like somebody may take after their father with the seven of swords. I'm feeling like somebody is a business, like trying to start a business, okay? And uh, you're kind of like uncertain about this situation. Like, you're uncertain. You're uncertain. Why is the seven of wands here? The moon. I feel like you may feel like somebody is a, is being a scammer. With the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands and the Moon, you might feel like, you may be trying to find out whether or not it's something that's a scam or not. This could be somebody that you know personally, or this could be somebody in your family, or be somebody, you know, that, that you, I just feel like it's somebody that you definitely know personally, that you're trying to find out 
um, you know, what they have going on. Is this real? Is it a scam? Um, how are you doing this? I'm just getting that type of energy. I'm getting that type of energy. Yeah, the moon and the empress. Like a mystery. Some, like this, you're a really big mystery. Yeah, tell the truth. Tell the truth. I'll get tell the truth. So this person is a big mystery to you. And you're trying to figure this out. Like, it's just something different about this person that you're just like, I don't know. So you're kind of like in the background just watching this person. Like, you know, you're not saying much. You're just watching. Okay, so let's see what we have here. What other messages we have. This is going to be from the Kipper deck. And we'll see what we get. What message do we have? What additional messages are there for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? All right, there we go. All right, the first card we have is main male. Okay, well, let's talk about what's at the bottom of the deck. At the bottom of the deck, we have expectation. And we also have house. And we also have child. So it's like somebody is expected for some... It's like I'm getting like somebody has some boundaries. Uh, and somebody has a high expectation. The family has a high expectation. Or this person has a high high expectation for their child for some of you this could be this could be your child okay this could be your child or your your niece your nephew something but you're looking at this person like you know we have a standard a code of ethic that we live by okay but look we got great fortune so this person could actually be on to something and we got thoughts okay so give me a couple more cards why is great fortune here You could feel like, I feel like you feel like this person could possibly be scamming. Okay, we got distant horizons and see sudden wealth. Okay, see, it's like how this person go from being broke, have being in poverty, and now they all of a sudden got money. So you possibly feel like this person has stole some money because Thief wanted to jump, wanted to jump out and be honest. Thief wanted to jump out. So you feel like this person that came up with some type of scam or whatever, but this person could actually be doing something legit, um, to be honest, because y'all, this person got great fortune. This person got a uh, great fortune and sudden wealth, like out of the blue. That's what I'm getting here. And this, but this person could be at a distance from you. So you don't really know what's going on. Okay, so main male. Why is main male here? There could be a male involved. Okay, bad health. Unexpected income. See, there's a lot of income coming in. Like this person that you're looking at, I feel like you're looking at them because it's like out of the blue all of a sudden you got money. Or out of the blue, all of a sudden, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you up there. You was just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you was just in the middle. Now, you all the way up here. You ain't told me about nothing. You ain't come to me and ask me about, ask me about nothing. So, I'm just, you know, kind of curious about what's, how you doing it? How did you get there? How, where did this come from? Okay. Somebody could have got a settlement. We got a courthouse. And we got a wealthy man. Okay, so somebody could be getting some money from a somebody could have got some money from a sugar daddy or a sugar mama or somebody who's wealthy. Somebody wealthy could be in a picture that's helping this person get to this place. And this money can't unexpected. This money can't unexpected. Somebody, the person that they're dealing with, it could be a male, he could be an older male, and he may be sick or you know, older, or somebody's helping somebody. You know, like you you really don't actually know where this person is getting this from. But, like, I feel like somebody, for some people, um, some they may have some help. Or somebody got some got a sugar daddy or a sugar mama that's kind of, like, you know, helping them get to where they need to go at. Okay? So, thoughts. Why is thoughts here? Okay, so you're thinking about the children. Okay? So, children may be involved, or this could be a child. Okay, this could be, some of you are looking at this person as a child. 
Like, they don't have to physically be a child. You can look at them as your child or there's children involved. Um, and you're, that's where your thoughts are. Like, you're thinking about the children. You may be hoping that the children are safe um, because you're not sure what's going on. Like, you're just not sure what's going on. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the angel, the angels have to say. Okay. What message is there for Taurus? Okay, we got to look for a sign. Look for a sign. So you got to pay attention to the signs. Ask for help from others. And you need to communicate clearly. Okay, because other people are going to be able to help you if you ask. But you're going to have to say exactly what it is that you want. Okay, the situation is going to improve. Okay, forgiveness and it's up to you. So the situation, this situation, like I feel like you're looking at a situation and you might be asking other people um, instead of asking this person what's going on with this person. Why is look for a sign here? We got the star card, okay? So definitely, I love that energy. The star card, yeah. See, all of a sudden, somebody's look changed. Somebody, <laughs> somebody's look changed, okay? Somebody's something look at, is looking up. Somebody is moving up to the star level, celebrity status. Somebody is leveling up here, and you're trying to figure out how. We got the we got the hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but you you're like thinking that this person. You're trying to catch this person in a lie. Okay, so you're trying to see if this person is lying or scheming or scamming with the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Now, like, you feel like this person could be scamming. And you're trying to catch this person to lie. But, like I said, it's a, they could have someone in the background that's helping them that they're not telling you about. Okay, so why is ask for help here? Ask for help from others. Okay, the temperance and the tower. Yeah, because, like, this happened, like, abruptly, like, out of the blue. And, like I said, I feel like you hope that this person straight, this person is safe and covered. Yeah, see, the empress and the nine of pentacles, like I said, this person done leveled up. Somebody done leveled up. It could be you. It could be somebody around you. But somebody done leveled up, okay? And you want, I feel like it's you wanting to know the truth with the ace of swords and the knight of swords. Like, you want to know how they got it, how they doing this. Okay, because definitely with the Empress and Ten of Pentacles, somebody done leveled up. The situation will improve. Seven of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the, ooh. With the Seven of Wands, this is somebody standing their ground and beating, beating, going against the odds, okay? But we got Ten of Swords and the Four of Cups. So somebody is, uh, is disappointed because something is ending. Something ended. Yeah, somebody walked away. You didn't want this person to walk away. You see, you're afraid for this person. This person is at I feel like for some of you, this person at a distance from you. So you don't really know what's going on. And it's concerning. You feel concerned. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Four of Wands. Yeah. The Four of Wands. Like I said, this could be someone in your family. Um, this is someone that you could live with, I mean, have lived with, and you're close to them. Why is the Four of Wands here? Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands here? King of Pentacles and the Lovers. Okay, so somebody here is definitely has found somebody who has some, some money here. King of Pentacles. A lot of my readings, a lot of my readings have been like people are coming up and leveling up. And I'm I'm real deal like digging this energy, real deal. A lot of y'all done came into some money and came into a situation that has helped you grow. I'm getting a lot of growth and abundance. Somebody here has grown, like somebody has leveled up. Okay, the person that you thought you knew, you don't know them no more because this person, somebody, like, somebody has really like, you know, they're up there, up there. All right. 
So if this message resonated with you guys, leave me a thumbs up. Um, you can, or like I said, guys, you can order the money magnet oil, the, um, link to take it to the Etsy shop and take it to the website for you to order the money magnet oil. Okay. If you want to book a personal reading, you can do that as well. If you will need a pendulum read, all of that information is in the description box below. Okay. And I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.